What's up guys and welcome to Gen Kids Live. We are so excited that you're gonna be joining us for our online service today. <laughs> so even though we can't meet in our building today, we can still come together for an awesome time of worship. So just like our regular service, we're gonna do some worship right now. So if you click on the two links down below, you can do some worship with your family and then come right back for our lesson. Hi kids, Miss Sarah here and Mr. Nick. And we're gonna be playing an awesome game today. So it's like Pictionary, but not quite. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a paper on our teammates back. My teammate is Miss Rebecca and Nick's teammate is Big D, Mr. Darren. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna draw whatever we pick out from the basket. So let's say I pick out a turtle So I would try and draw a turtle on that piece of paper Well, miss Rebecca tries to draw on the whiteboard right there And we'll see if our pictures match up and if she can guess what I'm drawing So whoever whichever team gets the most points wins So whose team do you want to be on? I mean my team is the purple team and clearly the better team my team it's the red team, and we're gonna win, so. Just saying, Mr. Nick's team <laughs> hasn't won yet, so <laughs> let's just see. <laughs> All right, kids, so get ready and pick your team.
one second. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Picasso. Uh, <laughs> that was your only <laughs> Picasso? What is it? It's a spaceship. <laughs> a spaceship? Oh my gosh. Is it a hat? Is it a house? No. <laughs> oh, man. All right, kids, so who do you think won? Do you think it was the red team? Yeah, we won. We won. Or do you think it was the purple team? Yeah, okay. Well, let's see. All right, can we get a drum roll, please? Drum roll. It was the purple team! <laughs> Hey kids, it's Mr. Nick today, and oh, it's your, your first your first time using a microphone. Yeah, yeah all right, this is Pastor Darren. Uh, so today we're gonna do a very quick interview because today Miss Rebecca is teaching us all about love. So I figured we would interview uh, Darren because he is our designated married man here, <laughs> and I'm I'm not married, so that'd be perfect. We could he could tell me all about what is love um, and teach you kids what is love. So. Darren, we're gonna open up with a really easy question today for the kids. How do you spell love? Let's see, I before E, L, O, V, E? Yes. Yes, yeah, so that's really good, uh, especially, you had me concerned there when you said I before E. <laughs> There's no I in love. Um, actually, oh, that, that. <laughs> yeah, no, no touching. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll, we'll do another question here. Um, what does it mean when you have love in your life? What does it mean when you have love in your life? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, it means that you have Jesus in your life because he is love. Oh, that's really good. Who is someone that you love? Um, well, I love my goldfish. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> what, what about our, uh, our, our cameraman, the, the lovely Miss Sarah? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, can I get a redo? <laughs> Love you, honey. No. What about the uh, two kids? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, them two. They're great. I love my kids. Yeah, yeah. Do they have names? Yeah, yeah uh, Josiah and Elisa. Okay, he got those right. Uh, good, good, good job on those questions. Um, uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> sweating, shouldn't have worn that sweater. All right, uh, another question here really quick. So tell us a little bit about how Jesus loves us. Um, and Jesus actually demonstrated it for us. He told us that there's no greater love than to give your life for somebody else. To give of yourself is actually the greatest uh, way to love. And so love ultimately is us serving and loving and giving of ourselves to others. And that is what love really is. Good. Well, Miss Rebecca is going to go ahead and teach you a little bit more about love today. So thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you in just a minute. Hey, everybody. Glad to see you. Oh, wait a minute. I can't see you, but you can see me. Darn, I sure miss seeing you guys. I miss your hugs. I miss your laughter. I just really miss you. But guess what? We're going to be back together soon. So I'm kind of filling in right now because the Unstoppables are on vacation. They've been doing some fun adventures and all that and they need to take a break. Do you guys know what I have in my hand? Can you see it? It's a battery and it's something I bet all of you depend on every day. Batteries are little power packs that help things run without having to plug it into the wall and stand by the wall. We use batteries and all kinds of things. Can you name something? What'd you say? I can't hear you. Can you say that a little louder? 
I still can't hear you. One more time, really loud. <laughs> Sorry, parents, I just had to do that. Okay, kids, you are absolutely right. We use batteries in cell phones, iPads, I'm afraid to lift this one up, wireless, microphones and headphones, toys, even cars run on batteries. Not this size battery, but on batteries. So right now, quick, get up, run, go get your favorite toy or thing that requires a battery. Glad you made that real quick. There's nothing more frustrating when you're playing with your favorite toy or you're talking on your cell phone and all of a sudden the battery dies. No, mine's not gonna die, I have mine charged up. It doesn't matter if you have the coolest, fanciest toy or the best, most expensive iPhone or eh, Android. If the battery's gone, it's completely useless. Bottom line, no battery, dead, useless. Batteries remind me something of what Paul said in the scriptures. If you have your Bibles with you, please turn to 1 Corinthians 13. And if you don't have a Bible, please reach out to the church and we will gladly send you one. Paul said, and 1 Corinthians 13, please follow along in verses one through three. If I speak in tongues of men and angels, but I do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and I understand all the mysteries and everything out there, and I have faith where I can move a mountain, but I have not love, I am nothing. If I give all my possessions to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but I have not love, I gain nothing. Now, look at what's in your hand and remember a battery keeps it going. You would be sad without it. That's the same thing about love. Love is a power source. It brings joy and happiness to people. Every time your battery dies in your cell phone, your iPad, or your toy, think of love. How can you show love? That's a good question. Well, there's many different ways. Paul says love is patient. Even if your brother or sister is being a little brat, Gotta have patience. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. Even if your little bratty brother or sister does something, love keeps no records of wrong, does not delight in evil, rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails. Other ways we can show love is making a meal for somebody who doesn't have a lot of money. We can show love by cleaning up your brother or sister's mess so they don't get into trouble. There's a multiple of ways you can show love. What I'd ask you to do is seek the Lord and say, Lord, how can I show love to one another? It could be something small, it could be something big. And if you guys have time, I would love for you to send a selfie with one of your favorite electronics in your hand and something that you've done to show love. When we share what we've done, it encourages one another and it helps us want to do it again. Well, until next time, guys, I want you to know I love you, but Jesus Christ loves you more than that. Have a wonderful afternoon. 
Wow, kids, what an awesome message from Miss Rebecca, talking to us about love, about the greatest type of love, the love that comes from Jesus, that he was willing to die on a cross for us, for all of our sins, so that we can be with him in heaven. How amazing is that? That is something that we can rejoice in and remember throughout the week. How to show love to your sibling or to your mom and dad, whether it's picking up your room or the dishes, even those small acts show love to the people who are around you. So make sure you do that, guys. And I actually have a small announcement to share with you. So I hope you guys have been loving the Unstoppables. And we're actually going to be bringing them back. So if you would be interested in some superhero training, then go ahead and mark that on the link below. Say interested in summer virtual VBS. That way we know that you want to participate and we can have so many superheroes being willing to spread the word of Jesus. All right, guys, I hope you have a blessed week and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.